Good morning. The State Department says hundreds of U.S. citizens remain in Afghanistan as the U.S. continues to warn of imminent threats on the Kabul airport. With the deadline to withdraw troops from Afghanistan less than 24 hours away, the State Department, as of Sunday, says 250 U.S. citizens are still in the country. This is the most dangerous time in an already extraordinarily dangerous mission these last couple of days. And so we will do everything possible to keep, uh, to keep people safe, but the risk is very high. Most of the military members remaining in Afghanistan are racing to evacuate Americans and Afghan allies from the airport in Kabul, hoping to escape the Taliban. Their mission turning deadly last Thursday when 13 U.S. service men and women were killed in a suicide bombing, along with dozens of Afghans. In retaliation, the U.S. carried out a drone strike against an ISIS-K planner and facilitator, and an unmanned U.S. drone targeted a vehicle less than five miles from the airport. The vehicle, believed to be carrying a substantial amount of explosive material, which caused powerful subsequent explosions. And overnight, as many as five rockets were fired at the airport. Officials saying the U.S. anti-missile system intercepted at least some of them, and so far there doesn't appear to be any casualties. In the meantime, a solemn scene in Delaware Sunday. U.S. servicemen carrying out the dignified transfer of the 13 service members killed last week. Off to the side, President Biden, the First Lady, and high-ranking cabinet officials. All of those killed were children or even infants in 2001 at the start of the war. President Biden has now directed the Homeland Security Department to take the lead in resettling those refugees who've been evacuated out of Afghanistan. Andrea Fujii, ABC News, New York.